Um, so I don't even know why Paul saying that stuff about me because when I asked him how his date went with the Kia, he was like, uh, it was like, uh, I don't know why you looking like that. And he also said that, you know, as far as the attraction, you know, he want to make sure that he able to get aroused with somebody. I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all, man. Why are you trying to throw me under the bus? Why are you lying? Tommy, that's BS, man. I don't know what's wrong with this chick, man. I didn't say none of that, man. You keep it. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. What's up, Koei family? Welcome back to another video of Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie the E Dub. And this is my lovely wife with her new shirt. They say, what? Barbecue. That's not my name, but my name is Courtney, also known as Coco. Yeah, but she is a barbecue. A barbecue. A beautiful black queen. Hey, hey. And this channel is all about Courtney and Eddie. I knew I screwed it up, but we're going to roll with That's it. That's right. Roll with it. Roll Eddie. with it. Yeah, and uh, tonight we're going to be talking. Oh, yeah. This channel is all about relationship, reviews, and entertainment. And tonight we're going to be talking about Ready to Love. Yep. So if you're brand new to this channel, you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? We have fun over here and my husband drinking water for y'all eggs, honey. Um, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. If you're watching us on Facebook, make sure you hit like and follow and share, 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 share on your social medias. Help us out with the algorithm, okay? The more you like, the more you share, the more we pushed up in YouTube algorithm. Point blank and period. Okay. All right, you guys, so before we get into it, make sure you head on over to our brand store and get tees like this, happy spouse, happy house, and stuff like that, hats, all that stuff. Y'all know we got merch for days, coedwear.com. You can purchase tees like this and so much more. And if you want to get a discount on makeup, make sure you go on over to TLB and use our promo promo code to tell them that we sent you, TLB the lip bar and this what i'm wearing is savage savage bad bougie classy mm, 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 mm. yep savage so um yeah you can get a discount on makeup from the lip bar all of that is in the description below all right you guys so let's go ahead and get into this review better late than never that's what it was called they were talking about tina honey no, she should have just been better. Yeah, never. She should yeah, never come. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Tommy found out the hard way. Yeah, I promise you. <laughs> so, it started off with Sabrina um, doing the elimination, and she's talking to Tori, and she's calling Tori and Paul to the, you know, to the floor, to the carpet. And they, she was basically telling them, well, both of them, you know, was in there. Of course, you know, Tori was in there strong, but some step, stuff happened with them. But she said they didn't really seem like they had much of a connection, but they started making connections toward the end. But too little, too late. And so we come to find out that Tori is not ready to love. But we was rooting for him to go ahead and leave because Tori should have been gone. Yeah, but... Paul should have been gone too, but... But Tori, he handled, he handled it like a champ, man. Yeah, he did. You know, he, you know, hugged everybody and gave everybody dap and you know I, I think Tori he'll find somebody Tori's a good dude man he's a good dude he made some he made some mistakes on this show but overall I think you know he's a good brother now how Uncle Paul uh, continued to survive who knows know. how he you know every week he be living life on the edge, and he still get by. On the edge, honey. Still get by. What you do, Uncle Paul? What you be doing, man? Yeah. What's your secret? You know, like sometimes when them bugs get on your car, you get on the freeway, and they just hold on for their life. That's Paul. That's yeah. Unk. Just yeah. holding on. Yeah, but I, you know what? Speaking of that, so when I get a bug on my windshield or on the hood, I be looking at my, my speedometer. Okay, oh, you still on 30 miles an hour. You still there. I'm going to give it a little more gas. Oh, I'm off to 40. Oh, you still there. Around about 70, 80, or 90 miles per hour. Oh, they can't hold on. Yeah, no they can't. They, they gone. So, yeah, they must ain't been cranked up yet. Mm. So, Sabrina and Demetrius are having a conversation. All the other ladies looking and say, ooh, it look a little intense over there. So, they turn around trying to see what's going on. Yeah. So, it seems like basically, basically she said, listen, we both used to be in chase. I ain't finna chase you, and I guess you ain't finna really chase me like that. And it seemed like the energy for this is not really there the way it used to be. And so, um, so we're gonna have to fine tune this thing. 
And, you know, she was just saying that he's a little passive. So, but Demetrius said, what? He's going to turn it up. That's what he's talking about. Well, he was basically saying that he wasn't finna. He didn't tell her. No, that, 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 like, I thought it was like towards the end. Of yeah, show. but I think he may have said it in that part. Too. Yeah, you're right. He said, what he's saying is that he's not going to give his 100 if there's other guys in the picture, which I, I get it. I understand. But this is a show. This is a competition, right? So sometimes you gotta get that one hundred so you can survive to the end. But apparently, he's been doing he's he's been doing just enough mm-hmm. to make it this far, you know. So, but yeah, I I, I see where he's coming from though. So the Kia is sitting and drinking a, a glass of wine, hun. I guess she is just is, she is in so- somber. She in she's soaking. What? She said, she said, doggone. I was trying to use these somber. Ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. <laughs> I'll yeah. turn it to words, uh, man. Ultimate. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, she is all in her feelings. And so, anyway, Clifton come in and he sit with her. And basically. Uh, Clifton, he's going to walk on right by her. The only, way, the only reason why he stopped, she said something to him. And he he was going to walk back. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah. He was like he was walking right on back to the room. And she said something to him. So he stopped and started talking to her. And um, she said, well, you know, she know he hasn't spent a... Well, he even said he know he hasn't spent enough time with her. And, he, you know, he apologized for that. And Clifton said it's like him and Joy got there. And it's like instantly, you know, their attraction and everything just pretty much grew. I, I disagree, but go ahead. How you disagree? I mean, he said when they when he when him and Joy got there, that attraction grew. He said like it, it, I guess the connection and everything. But you gotta think about it too. Him and Joy talked before they got there. That's why they ended up with the onesies. So they had the stuff planned out already. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Cause you know how likely is you and your man or you and your woman gonna have onesie at the, you know at this weekend getaway right and so they had to talk before they got to the getaway so how you think they kind of set this on up and that's why when she joy got there that's why she put her stuff on his bed so i think they had it all planned so and joy made sure she took up most of clipping time so the the the, the, the kid didn't have time to get with the clifton so she she played it like a champ so the Kia said that they they could at least had a conversation. So she was telling that the Clifton, he was like, you know what, you're right. Yeah, you know, I agree with that. Um, you know, I could I could have been more forward and just kind of told you that, hey, you know, I'm gonna pull back some because I'm, you know, really all in for joy and everything. And the Kia was hurt. Oh, yeah. She turned her head. A few tears came down. And um, I just don't understand how a woman or women get so attached to somebody so quickly it's only like a month two months no no i don't even think it's that long but i'll see you crying over this man and y'all just been talking over the phone y'all might went out a couple of times you cry man i've known people uh, that have been dating five six months and when they break up they, it's no tears shed well it's women some women when they go in they go all in but you should know better not to go all in on somebody on this show yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm still hey, why but, you crying? I, but, but I also think that they was having more of a conversation outside of what we saw. I really but, think that that was okay, and that's fair enough. But the kid knew that Clifton had a connection with Joy. Yeah. So like, she was competing. So she knew it was a chance that she wouldn't. She knew it was a chance that Clifton wasn't going to choose her. Right. She knew that chance. She but. You crying over this man, knowing that this man might be with another woman. He might choose somebody else. You, no, I, I just don't get it, man. Um, I just don't. Yeah, get it. so they hug, and so he was like, "Come here, let me give you a hug." And it was like, I was like, I don't know, like I don't, I don't know. It's like Clifton felt bad, it's like she felt bad. Yeah, and he felt bad because he saw the hurt in him. Yeah, he saw how she was hurt, and he and he saw the hurt in her eyes. That's why he felt bad. But I still go back to this. How can you get attached to somebody so quickly well, on I a did. show? Mm, I, I don't, I've never done that. I have I have dated women for eight months. We break up. Be, all right, bet. Bye. And that well, was you, it. Well, you was never in like that. Then. Well, I mean, yeah, I never got in like that. I would never. I never let my walls all the way down till I knew for sure. 
Never. I never. I, you never do that. Heck no. Women, do not let your walls all the way down until you know for sure. When you know for sure, you you you'll know it. You, I can't pinpoint, but it's a good. It's something in your in your energy. It's an energy connection. You you would know. You would know. But if you feel like you let your walls down with me. It took a while, but if you feel like something's off in your energy with this person. Don't let that wall down. If you got doubts, don't let that wall down. Now you letting your wall down. You got all kinds of red flags around. You still letting your walls down. And then you get hurt. You wonder why. Yeah. Ah, Lee, you got me all upset, man. Can to drink your water. So anyway, the couples are in the hot tub where Clifton, honey, he had the, he's like, yeah, I feel a little bad, but now Joy over here, so I'm good. So um, yeah, they in the hot tub. Demetrius, Sabrina, Joy, and Clifton. Um, yeah. Pardon me, did I skip something? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Donovan. I sure did. I skipped that, honey. Because yeah. I was finna say, I knew Donovan and yeah, um, Carmen was yeah. in there first. Yeah. And I just skipped right on down there, honey. Went straight down to the... Um, but yeah, they was in there talking. And it seemed like Donovan and Car Carmen have a connection. Yeah. I was finna say real, but mm, I'm not 100% sold on that. But they do have a connection. Because Carmen been bounced around, bounced around, they, bounced they, around. They, they, they have a... A surface connection right now, I think. You know, it's on the surface right now. It's not a deep connection. They look cute together. Yeah. Uh, you know, but you know, I don't right now. I don't see it, see in a depth into that connection right now. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Carmen said that. Um, yeah, she know she see how Donovan look at Sabrina. She's a nice girl. He's she said, but she's a better woman. I said, boom, drop that mic. Yeah, that was some shade. Call her a girl. I mean, she do look yeah. like a little girl. Yeah, she do. That's why I think <laughs> guys like Ooh, the girl next door. <laughs> so, but Sabrina is shady. Hmm. Yeah, y'all was right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was some people in the comments called her out, and I said, "No." Nah, Even think... when we was on that live, yeah. they said, "I don't like Sabrina." Yeah, I said, "No, nah, Sabrina ain't shady. No, nah, she just know what she wants." After seeing this, I was wrong. Yep. I need to buy a shirt say I was, I was wrong, wrong. <laughs> but that would never happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, they in the hot tub, and so they, you know, each talking and all that stuff, whatever. And you can tell that, you know, Joy and Clifton all on her. He, she kiss him. Um, then she encouraging Sabrina to nibble on Demetrius' ear, and she like, baby, I'm gonna do it in my own time, you know. Well, go ahead, I'm sorry. But I'm just saying, I don't think Sabrina feeling nobody. No, and getting back to Clifton and Joy, I still think Joy is more into Clifton than Clifton is into her. You know, she's to me, she's the more of the aggressor in the in that in that relationship. relationship. Yeah, she's the one. Forcing the issue, she's kissing him. You know, she's doing you know, all the work. Right, she's doing. He just laying back and say, hey, "Come get Big Daddy." You know what I'm saying? What about when they was in the bed last week? He was naked up on the cover. Hey, right hey, there. that's different. You know, he know. They, she probably jumped on, jumped his ball. He just like, okay, bring it on. You know what I'm saying? Cause she is real aggressive. She really is when it comes to Clifton. Then yeah. again, she be in another guy's laps and stuff. So. So, um, so they show everybody. They show them in the hot tub. They show Carmen and um, Donovan getting in the bunk bed. Bro. Which, I would be so at production. Did y'all put me in a bunk bed? Man, a I bunk would, bed, I man. Would. I would put a pad on the floor. <laughs> I would, and then uh, Tina didn't come. Y'all ain't got no extra room. You mean it's a Tory level? Well, who had his room? Get the cleaning crew to come yeah, in there and get his right. room. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? That's like, I mean, point. come on. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. be in no bunk bed because I would first feel claustrophobic because that thing over me like yeah. that. Yeah, you're right. In production, it's so shaded. It's so shaded. They show Clifton and Joy together. Uh, Sabrina and Demetrius, Demetrius together, Carmen and uh, Donovan together, and Un Uncle Paul turned his light off. Got yeah. his little bunk bed. <laughs> 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 you didn't no bunk bed, was I think he was, man. Was he? Yeah, I think he was in the bunk bed, man. God, Uncle Paul, all all alone. <laughs> so Tina showed up to be mad and to say she ain't liking nobody. 
Basically. Because <laughs> I don't even know why the conversation with her and Donovan, and they sitting on a bunk bed. I said, that's a bunk bed. You were saying, McCall. Yeah, I thought what? the same thing. That's nasty. I thought the same thing. Um, so, yeah, they sitting on the bunk bed and stuff, and he like, why are you here? She was like, well, yeah. They I'm forced me to come here, man. Basically, I'm just here. Yeah, yeah, I was obligated to get here. She said she don't really have no connection with nobody. Donovan said that, you know, he thought that they had a connection together, but, and he was like, well, none of the guys feeling you now because mm-hmm. you didn't show up. So yeah. she like, don't yeah. care. Yeah, she, <laughs> like I, and her ex-boyfriend, BJ, he was right. He was right. Mm-hmm. She would ghost you in a heartbeat. Yeah, but Paul said, um, the ball. Paul said <laughs> <laughs> Paul said he had uh cut his losses with her. You know, he tired of dealing with fake stuff. Uh first of all, I think she cut her losses with you first. I don't know what you was holding on to. Hey, I don't think it was nothing. Uncle evident. Paul being be in his own little world. He do. Yeah, uh, you know, he's delusional, mm-hmm. you know. Bless his heart. Yeah. It, it, I think he just want the fact of say Honey, I ain't with her. I cut my loss with her. I cut my loss. But it seemed like they cut their losses with them. With him. Uncle Paul the type of guy. He was break up with you before you break up with him so he could have the last. Yeah, man. I had to break up with her, man. She's all. And, but she's going to break up with you anyway. Oh, she man. broke up with you. Yeah. <laughs> she may not have told you. She like Sabrina, but Sabrina was forth, come, forthcoming. Mm-mm. Not really. Because when Carmen went out there to talk to her and she asked her to... Uh, no, I'm not a Supreme. I'm thinking about Tina. Tina. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, Tina. Tina. Katina. Yeah. No, her Tina. name is not Katina. Tina is like Tina Town. Tina, right. Okay, so let's move on. So go ahead. Carmen was talking to Tina. And go ahead. Okay, so Carmen was saying she went out there and made her, you all right? Make sure Tina was okay and see what's going on with her head and make sure she was fine. And and Tina said that she told Carmen, well, I really ain't got a connection with nobody. And she's in the comments. Say, what about uh, Paul and Demetrius? And she said, well, Demetrius, it was like a disconnect right there. And and Paul, you know, I thought I was feeling him, but I found out I wasn't feeling him. And Carmen asked her, have you told him? And Tina said, nope. I do what I do. I just yeah, disappear. I just, <laughs> I just and, disappear. And then the fact that she probably said, I would think they would know because I ain't been around. So, Paul's still trying to show, I ain't stood her. I ain't stood her. I ain't stood her. I'm like, dude. She haven't called you in almost, almost two weeks, man. Like that, after that little pool thing. Yeah, it was yeah. a wrap then. So, the couples are leaving the resort or wherever they was at. Their little um, cabin, honey, with bunk beds, honey. So, um, Paul wanted to take the kid out on the date. Because he's still trying to float along. Float. <laughs> float on. He's still trying to float it on. I don't know. He's just trying to grab to some that a stick. You know how sometimes... <laughs> I don't even get to this. You've been in school and you just... You're just trying to keep your head down so the teacher won't call on you. And I feel like that's what Paul doing. He's just trying to do enough. I ain't going to gonna lie. Just like to get I've right done that too. Be up on the radar. Please don't, know, please right? don't pick me. Please. Yeah, you trying please. to act like you read and get please. your head down. And I'll throw a pencil on the floor, grab the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> so she will see me. Anything, anything. And I feel like that's what Paul doing. He's just trying to go up on the radar. And I don't know about him being so tall. Why he can just get up out of there. But yeah. I don't understand why they don't see that this man ain't got no connection with nobody. Well, he, he's making it. He well, is. he's doing is working. It's he, working. It's working. It's working. Uh, even he said it um, when he thought he was about to be eliminated. Like, I lived to see another week. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. So, um, yeah, he took the kid out on a date and... He giving her all these compliments and saying how beautiful she is, beautiful black queen. I don't see why a man don't see nothing. A man, a man got to be crazy not to see you, that where you get your beauty from. She was like, my mama, and she talked about she got guards up and, you know, blah, 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 and she ready to love, and I don't see why. I'm, all these compliments, and y'all ain't got no chemistry toward each other, no attraction. Well, to be honest with you, I think after the Clifton Incident with the kid, I think she just basically kind of checked out. I think she still she was she was really she really was hurt. I think she's kind of checked out. I think she has that Tory thing going <laughs> right now. Uh, so Clifton really did some damage to her emotionally, mm. and that's why I don't understand how somebody can get so attached to somebody so quickly. 
And I think she's basically checked out. And I think she, I'm really think, I really think she is going along for the ride until the end of the season. Well, both of them can say self eliminate. Yeah, because everybody Eric, right, everybody right now, everybody else is coupled up. Eric self eliminate, so you know, um, you do it. And, and take Uncle Paul with you. Oh, Uncle Paul, after the kid, he don't have no connections. Yeah. Like, when it comes to feet, meeting their friend, who he gonna bring? Probably bring Chill Wheel He again. sure can't bring Karma because he done add her out and she add him right on back out. And she said, I got receipts, honey. Yeah, so, yeah. that's why. That was a bad move by Uncle Paul. Bad yeah. move. But go ahead. So Clifton enjoyed me for dinner and, you know, it was a lot of kissing and he was like, you know, I think we really vibe with each other. You finished my sentences. We kinda like in there. And you said, know, I we like you. We in tune with each other. I, I like you. It's more than like I said, what you want? You saying you love this man already? She said she can't really put on it. It ain't. It's more than like, but, but I guess love. I guess it's not love yet. So you know, and you reach over there, bend over there, kiss him over the table. I said, why? He got bad knees, baby. He wasn't finna get up. I'm just saying he don't put any effort to reach over there to make the the attempt. Initi- yeah attempt to initiate the moves to the you know to kiss her and stuff. She's doing all the work from what I can see. And then too, so you know, did they? Was they intimate? You oh, know? yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. They were intimate. He wanted to, he was saying some stuff, and she was trying to pull it back. Like, don't you say that stuff on camera. Oh, yeah, man. Because he was like some fluid. There was some fluids that was, what, released or something yeah, like that. She was man. like, did I pass gas? Yeah, you passed gas, all right. But, yeah, man. Yeah, they were intimate, man. Probably intimate more than one time, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's what he went over. Oh, you the one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, so everybody come back in and Tommy asked how did things go and was Tina there? Like, you know, is Tina there? Because we don't need another, another ace to come back to me. Y'all come back to me saying that, you know, ace eliminate herself. Um, and they said, well, she came. She came late, honey. And she going to leave out with everybody else. But she came late. And Tommy was like, well, you know, I talked to her. Because Donovan was like, well, you know, she really wasn't in there mentally like that or whatever. Yeah, she so, came and she went. Basically. Um, he talked to Joy. And they talk about, you know, as far as where she is. And so she was like, you know, of course, her connection was Clifton. But they do maybe have some little issues or some things they talk about. And they talked about, you know, the exes and stuff. Yeah, Clifton said, well, I do have some work to, uh, to do on myself because I had issues. And basically, insecurity. Let's call it what it is about exes. Yeah, you know, we saw that on Yeah, TV. and so he said that uh, Joy kind of put his mind, mind at ease by kind of explaining to him about the, you know, the situation with the exes. And you don't have, really don't have to worry about that. You know, I got you, you know. You know, so... So Clifton said, well, okay, since Joy talked to me about that, I feel more at peace with that situation right now. For now, in my opinion. So Paul said, um, he asked about Paul. He said, him and Carmen, you know, I really don't feel like it's a connection now. I'm sorry. I get so surprised that Uncle Paul went there, man. I thought Tommy was asking him a question, how things going, but... Uncle Paul, he went in. He yeah. went in. He What's said like, that, you know, he feel like Carmen just pretty much sized him up like that or whatever. You know, it's not really nothing there. Mm-hmm. Was you finna say something? Mm-hmm. And so Carmen said, okay, I guess she's saying, honey, since we going now. Because yeah. <laughs> she said, I'm not trying to size you up. Like, you know, I was just, and then, you know, I'm asking you, like, how's your date with that? Paul was like, don't be asking me how my date is with this one and that one. What you want to know for? Yeah. Basically. That was a bad move, in my opinion. That's because he didn't go nowhere. He didn't want to tell nobody. He didn't want to go nowhere. So he was too embarrassed to sit up there and tell but her. He didn't go nowhere. He should have told Carmen that. And no. pro- but the thing is, Carmen trying. You on the phone with Carmen. And, you know, you should like, you know, well, babe, Carmen, don't worry about it. You, you know, it didn't work out for him. I ain't feeling her like that. I'm more into you and call it a day, you know. Or I said, I think we're all right. But, you know, you know, but... I don't know. I still think Uncle Paul handling that completely wrong. Yeah, you can tell. Um, so Carmen said, "Okay, since you want to play that," she said, "You handling that wrong because you did two things wrong. You didn't open up to Carmen when you talk about the dates because it's still a competition, still a show. Okay, that's one. Two, 
you threw Carmen under the bus in front of everybody, knowing that you told her receipts about other women. You threw somebody under the bus that you went back and told negative stuff about other people to. And you expect her to hold that information after you throw her on the bus? And baby, she just said, forget the bus, honey. I'm going to get one of them bulldozer type things, them things that flatten you out. Because I'm going to go ahead and just and, flatten you right on them. that up. she did. What that thing get Like roll running. Beep, beep. You uh, remember that thing yeah. used to always fall on the coyote? And Bill? Yeah, but you know, it always was some. The coyote, if the sun fell on the coyote, and it'd be like roll okay. running, and then uh, okay. it'll fall over uh, and it go, uh, beep beep. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where she's going with it. You know I really about. don't know. No, I don't. Hey, they, it was like Carmen took something, that thing that always flattened him out and rolled over him, or a big mountain came and fell on him. A boulder. Yeah, anyway. A mountain. <laughs> you look you look at the bootleg content. <laughs> so Carmen said that one thing about Paul that he don't talk to her, like ain't no communication. And I asked him, you know, how did your date go with the kid? And he was like, mm, it's okay. Like, mm. And so she was like, mm. he said, Yeah, I'm looking for a woman with a certain kind of look. And he was like, uh, and I didn't say that. <laughs> he said, yeah, the comes I'm talking right now. Yeah. Mm. And um, and he said, and plus, I don't want to have to think about getting aroused. Like, I guess he said, when I look at you, you I want to get. You know, I, I need to get aroused as soon as he walked through the door. I don't need to force myself to be aroused. I don't want to be thinking about another woman then have to get aroused and look at you. Yeah. So basically, whoever he was talking about didn't do it for him. And uh, I guess he was talking about the, the kid. kid, yeah. And of course, the kid sitting right there, and he was like, "That BS." I didn't say that. She lied. But let me tell you how I know he lying. When his head was down, y'all saw it in the intro. When his head was down, and the, and, and and Carmen started saying that stuff, he was like, "Uh oh." The point is, why are you acting surprised? Why you threw her? You just told her basically she ain't you know Carmen ain't the woman for you. You kind of dogged her out, and you expect her to hold your secrets, hmm. and you gonna pop your head up and buck your eyes and act all surprised. Well, the kid said, "Well, I don't believe nothing to come out Carmen's mouth." You know, I don't believe the kid said. You know, I'm confident in my body, and she said, and plus, it should be natural over purchased. Mm. So she, what she trying to say that the kid done purchased a body. She done, I mean, excuse me, Karma done purchased. I don't know what she done had done, but she done purchased. So at that point, Donovan oh, just oh, look away. And hold on, and she always, she also said, uh, you know, I don't have to put stuff out there to be sexy. You can be classy right. and sexy, That's right. which is true, mm -hmm. which is true. But the kid talks sexual. Okay, uh, you know. Put this in my mouth. Uh, oh, you telling me? But on? I think that did she do that with Uncle Paul? I think yeah, I think she did. Yeah, yeah. Some so stuff. yeah, so yeah, you know. I, I that's get what it. got in. I, well, I don't know, got her in trouble. But I think that's what a confusion with, 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 Eric, with well, Eric. Right? Yeah, because the way she was talking, and so Eric said, "Okay, so she talk like that." Which once again, I don't condone. I should you know, you know. So you that type of person, I can just touch and grope you because you know the way you talk. But but um. Huh? No, right. Okay, but how was Donovan looking? Donovan, like, oh my god! I think he was more embarrassed with Carmen, man, because he's you know he has a connection with Carmen. Yeah, and you could tell he was embarrassed, man. Which, like he said, it's childish. Yeah, it was childish because both of the the women going at it were you know because Tommy was like, okay, we're not here to do all yeah. of that and stuff like that. So Sabrina, so they moved on to Sabrina. He said, "What about you, little bit?" I was like, baby, Lil Big have too much stuff going on for me. So Sabrina said that um, she's choosing what's best for her. She said that she got connections with Demetrius and Donovan, but as far as Donovan, I'm not sure if he's ready to move on past his relationship. I mean, past... His past relationships. Because of his past relationships, right. And um, and she said, and Demetrius, honey, he want a submissive woman. And that's going to be contradicted, contradictory. To who I am, contradictive to who I am. Yeah, yeah I know the word. Too. Yeah, I think then Tommy says there should be some kind of compromise between her and Demetrius. She said it can it can be, but her default 
for herself is being independent. And Demetrius' default for himself, he wants a submissive woman. So that's what the issues are going to, you know, yeah, they can work on it right now, but soon they get comfortable with one another, they're going to go back to their default state. Right. And default state is going to be, you know, that's, that's what the issue is going to come up at. And Demetrius said, I'm not really saying I want to, that was what my friend said, but your show didn't stop him. You right. Uh, you that right. was what my friend said, but I'm not saying that that's what I wanted. And as far as submissive, being submissive, that is like, you know, I'm not saying that kind of submissive, you know. So so basically, you didn't stop your friend. That's what you wanted. Your friend said. You want a submissive woman. And he said, I know what he wants. This is, you know what I'm saying? And he was looking like. Well, well if he felt like that, Demetrius, and when your friend said that, he should have stepped in and said, no, nah, man, I don't, nah, I, ain't, I don't need that. Or you could say, well, I'm different. I've grown from that. You could at least stop your friend. Oh, yeah. But he didn't. Basically, to me, when you don't stop your friend after you say something about you, you co-sign You co-sign them. Yeah. And then Demetrius was like, you know, I'm not finna give nobody 100% of me and they got well, other. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I get that. I do understand that. Yeah, bishop, 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 child. Just gone. Just gone, bishop. So, anyway, so Donovan said, <laughs> Donovan, Donovan got his with the clap back, honey. Yeah. He was doing the climb and like, we going to get it. We going to tell him. We going to tell it all. So, Donovan said, as far as Sabrina, like, I don't know why we still on that because I thought we had already cleared that up as far as, you know, am I ready to move on? Yeah. And plus, you sitting up at the table putting pizza in the man's mouth. Y'all feeding each other pizza. And, I, you know, yeah. knowing that you got a connection with somebody at the at the table, which was kind of weird to me. Well, I really don't think Sabrina thinks about the other person in the room. You see how she did Tori? Oh, yeah. And then she's doing uh, uh, Donovan the same way. So she just set. She's all about herself. Mm -hmm. She's in her own little bubble. So she don't care about the other person, in my opinion. Because for you to do that, Knowing you got a connection with another man, yeah, should kind of play the kind of cool. You yeah, know or do that all, somewhere. Right. All right, that's let's what I'm go talk because yeah. you don't have to do that. Yeah, yeah but you're doing it in front of this guy. You say you got a connection with. Now you got him feel a certain type of now way. Now Donovan, I mean, yeah, now Donovan see how Tori feel. Yeah, you know so, what I'm saying, bro? You need to call Tori. Tori, how you do it? Tori goes to bro. I just shut down. I <laughs> <laughs> just shut down. So, um, and then. Donovan said, and plus somebody tried to come for my neck. Sabrina tried to come for my neck, and basically said that uh, you want to go home like Tori, using that clout, holding that over the uh, over his head. Now, now Sabrina said she didn't say that. Okay, and Donovan said, yeah, you did tell me that. You did hold that over my head. You did threaten me to send me home. So. Then I think they did the confession with Sabrina. She said, well, no, we was just playing. And I just said, you want to go home too? In a joking way. Yeah. She, but, she didn't say in the confession. I thought she said it right there. Right. Uh, I, well, oh, it could have uh, been. But, could, but anyway, but yeah. So one of them lied, but I'm tend, I'm tend, I'm tending to, to believe Donovan. Donovan. Yeah, because, you know, Sabrina, she moves kind of you know, shady. Yeah, I, I think. it. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's how Tori got caught up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And now, going back thinking, when she confronted Laverne, maybe Laverne had a point. You know what I'm saying? And why he was so upset? So maybe it was because she was coming off a little innocent. Yeah. But come to find out, she a little sneak sneak. Yeah. So. So, so yeah. yeah. Um. And the fact too that. Um, yeah, that she was just saying that no, that's not what I said. You can go home like you just go home, you know, whatever. But I think that I think that she said it because I think she cocky. I think she's starting to get or starting. I think she acting a little cocky. You know why I think she acting like that? But go ahead. Go ahead. I felt when she felt. I felt when she did tour the way she did tour, and she felt like she had tour around her finger. I think that's when she was, she became cocky that she had. Demetrius was running behind her, and now she had Donovan running behind her. So she she started to feel herself, and she saw how Tori's feeling about her. Oh, she's like, oh man, I got these dudes wrapped around my finger. Exactly why she said, which who says this? I I wouldn't say certain stuff out my mouth, even if it was true, because it just sounds bad when you say it. But she was telling Demetrius, you know, both of us used to people chasing us. 
And basically, she was telling Demetrius, I'm not finna chase you because I'm used to dudes chasing me. You got Tori chasing me. You got Donovan chasing me. No, I'm not finna be chasing you. So you got to shape this up. Recall at the beginning, she was chasing Demetrius. Oh, Demetrius this and Demetrius that. Now, she got that confidence builder now. Yeah. And now she's oh I'm flipping the script now you're gonna be chasing me yeah and Demetri said well yeah you're right I gotta be more assertive and when he did that he caved in a little bit and so she's oh yeah I got yeah. the joke I yeah. got the joke so Tommy said well you know what Tina went here I'm gonna have a talk with Tina so uh, I'm gonna get on the phone we're gonna have a meet up Tommy have you talked to him have you have you heard from him has she answered the phone. Inquiring minds want to know. Have you talked to her? Mm -mm. Has, has anybody talked to her? Mm -mm. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, he stood her up too. And she stood him up. I mean, yeah, he, she stood him See, up. See, she stand up people so much. You know. get the confused. <laughs> <laughs> and he said he was waiting over an hour. Yeah, and once again, Shady Production really don't care. And he called and it went straight to the voicemail. Voice she put him on block or is she just like, oh. And, and so, yeah. And you look at her watch, pacing back and forth. I think this is the first time, I think, the first time in really little history that a person done ghosted people several times, including the host. <laughs> she ghosted the whole show. Yeah, she did. And she ghosted the whole show. Yeah. I don't even wonder she's going to be at the reunion. What do you think? But probably not. She's going to ghost it. She's going to tell him she's coming. Or she may take a break and don't come back. Yeah. Hey, I'll be right back. I got to go to the car and get something. Oh, you hear the door. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys. On that note, don't forget to go to our brand store and purchase teas. And don't forget that we got we're finna start our own patreon y'all we're gonna be talking about some good stuff in that patreon stuff that we can talk about in patreon and not on here because if you pay that means you may be a real but real but then the sneak was like come over there too so but yeah so we're gonna get the patreon started so we can have some good conversations and stuff like that and um and yeah if y'all watch love and marriage huntsville miss one of them made us a plate honey she done made us some good old food child we had i'm gonna show the pictures i'm put on community set i said this for the people that like to stay you know um after, after the show, show because the other ones they be gone because so she made us uh, a big baked potato a steak in it yours had steak steak uh cheese uh jalapeno pepper uh bell pepper onions and it was good. Yeah. It was a big potato. It was good. Mine, well, it ain't really mine, but it's ours. It's about that big, literally. Yeah. And it got, it's a big potato, which I didn't know it was because it was so that much was food. That was a potato? That's a potato. Dang! Where you get the potatoes from, man? It's about that big. I thought it was a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> and it got uh, oxtails, <laughs> macaroni and cheese, greens, cornbread, cheese. What else did stuff? It was a whole meal. A yeah, whole yeah, peas. Whole meal. I think got strips of peas on it. Yeah. It was a whole meal. I ate by that much and them oxtails were so good. Yeah, so she gonna have her food truck coming. So you know she hey, we like family, honey. They say we buys, but forget y'all. Y'all buys too. This for the love and marriage chance for people, not the rich love. So if y'all don't yeah. watch that show, don't worry about this. Well, trust me. We're gonna uh, we're gonna talk about it tomorrow. Oh yeah, we yeah. will. We're gonna, we're gonna make them mad. Yeah, it's gonna be all make the comments. Beat, I, you gonna make me work, girl. Yeah, gonna make them beat me. Kind of, I be in the comments. Beat. I I I kind of regulate the comments and. <laughs> you be getting on it, so y'all could be y'all could be one of the millimeters that's watching this, but uh, but anyway, so yeah, love and marriage Huntsville, Miss Wanda, Who? shout out, love and marriage Huntsville, mm. Miss Wanda, shout out to her, yeah. um, for you know sending us straight, y'all. She got a food truck coming, she got the barbecue sauce, she got the season and all this stuff. So yeah, we're gonna promote because she take care of us, all right? Yeah. On that note, you guys, that's all we got. Don't forget to go with God and let God go. But you can see you guys on the next video. I also put God first, y'all. Deuces.